I guess we should just look into the journal and then maybe travel. We'll see. Ah, oh, the preacher of the earthly delights, yes. I was just looking at it still flashing the Ebenezer, the freaking coast thingy. <sighs> because I haven't looked everything through. But yeah, we searched for Bracus Rex and we found Bracus Rex. Um, so we have done it in day 13. Bracus Rex is dead once and more and forever. Had he been let loose upon the world, he would have left countless dead in his wake. But none of the ma that matters now. The scores of undead will soon be over. The thing is, we have traveled 13 days with no rest. <laughs> That's quite something. Yep. The witching brother, of course. Source Hunter's Journal, we sent Prakus Rex back to the dead once and for all. Leandra, Leandra, the leader of the cultists responsible for his resurrection, clearly lies at the heart of this elaborate conspiracy. We should proceed to track down her sister, Igara. It uh, seems like she might be the only one that can shed light on these worrisome events. There, at least, we have all the... Um, like regarding the end of time stuff and some of the other important stuff uh, in the our souls hunters journey journal yeah. and then Cassandra who are too we heard that they ate about her i guess are who was startled by leander's plan to resurrect Cass bracus rex well that explains why he was indeed startled on day eight he asked if between Evelyn Shake and Leandra anyone mentioned the name Cassandra. No one did, and he dismissed our future inquiry. Ah, so it was indeed the person that even Garhu mentioned first for us. Yeah. With sickening glee, Bracus Rex told us that Cassandra was his sister, and that during his reign he turned her into a lich. He also mentioned a man, Gandan, that he treated both him and his sister very cruelly. And then Arhu told us how long ago he was held as lowly and much abused servant by Bracus Rex, the mad until the mad until the source hunter stoppled him and he was freed. It goes without saying that he's very much relieved that we've done undone Bracus once and for all. And uh, we learned that Arhu and Bracus Rex's sister, Cassandra, used to be lovers once, but that Bracus used sorcery to turn her into a lich in order to break their soul watch. With each new tale we hear about this deranged king, we come to understand all the more profoundly the depths of the evil we dispatched. Yay. A word of so, souls. What evil is gonna lie ahead of us now that Bracus is hmm. dead? Well, Leandra, because... of course, at least is the woman that actually woke them up and everything. And maybe yeah, they will. Yeah, but supposedly they are not as powerful as Bracus. Well, but if they waken up the Void Dragon, the Void is, but after all, true. causing troubles and trying to eat the time, basically. So maybe we <laughs> yeah. will battle against the Void Dragon at the end. Who knows exactly how that will work out. And at but least what's we have the those... next big thing if it's not the Void Dragon? No idea. No idea. Other than Leandra. <laughs> but otherwise, yep. no idea. Uh, let's just go to the end of time, I guess. We should see what happened there now. Yep. When we didn't figure out how to get into that place. How jolly. <laughs> There's something quite astounding you must see. It's the Weaver. Thanks to the Starstone you've collected, she's mended a portion of the tapestry. Well, that's nice. Look, a new story has been rewoven into time. A new portion of history appears to us for the first time in not even I know how long. A freaking sheep came into here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let us look together. Let us see what the weaver has woven. Long ago, two great generals led mankind in a terrible war. The dreaded Void Dragon threatened all of existence, and man and gods alike joined swords to stop it. The two generals were celebrated as the rulers of all, and even the gods paid them tribute. Ah, 
I guess indeed those are us. Yep. Because who else would they be? Is the picture different if both of us would be male, male or, female. or female? No idea. It would be good if it was, because otherwise it wouldn't really be very sensible. But yeah, I yep. guess indeed we already battled the Void Dragon previously. And now we just need to battle them again. Did the gods send for us? Who knows exactly how that happened then. Well, I guess we'll go and talk to the people. I greet you, honorable master of the house. I am the shepherd of elements, and I control how they may flock towards your most imperial presence. So, if it pleases you, command me and the elemental aspect of your choice shall once more settle among these holy halls. Okay. Well, apparently it even greets us as the master of the house. So that's interesting. Yeah. Shepherd of elements, um, command me and the and the elemental aspect of your choice shall once more settle among these holy halls. But I guess I we assume... can only get one at the moment. Yeah, I assume we will get all of them at some point. Eventually. Yeah. But, but yeah. what would we want now? <laughs> Not really sure because it's kind of like it's a shame to be just choosing one if, when like. It would be nice to get air and fire, for example, so that at least we both would have one. Or ice and fire or something like that. But of course, yeah. fire would be specifically for me, but should we choose the ice first or... I don't know. What should we do? I... Don't know. <laughs> and apparently we have to choose now. Or, well, I'll take my leave, I guess I can say that too, but... It seems more logical yeah. that I would be choosing something. Yep, of course. Well. There's been a lot of fire using for the moment. Should we choose fire? Maybe. We love twins joined by fire so much, so yeah. why not fire? I guess that makes sense in a sense, because I'm at least using fire a lot, even though you, of course, aren't. The next time yep. you choose either kind of ice or air. Yeah. Just because of that reason. Plus, of course, like, Bracus Rex was immune to fire. There's been a lot of fire enemies, especially. There hasn't yep. been a lot of ice yet. It's more in the area where we would be going when we go to the well thing, I would assume. Yeah. So maybe go with the fire elemental for now, and then after that, we'll do ice or air. Whichever you prefer. So, yep. sure. Let's go with the fire elemental. And that is your final choice. No. <laughs> sure, when we have to choose one, I guess it is. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue that. <laughs> yes, indeed. That is our final choice. Thy will be done. Oh. We'll see what this then means, but let's just freaking go and talk to these guys first. <laughs> and okay, well, we have the fire. I wonder who awaits you in the next chamber. I wonder what they'll say. Well, I have no freaking idea. What about you? Do you have any comments about the fact of this uh, being woven a little bit more? How might I serve our mission? I'd like you to show me our history again. But yeah, we did read about the old generals from before and they are apparently our soon so. Yeah. Uh, let us talk about the rooms I have discovered here at the end Threads of time. I weave and tales I see. All will I tell. Uh, it seems a demonic creature is roaming these halls. It recognizes me. Do you know what that is? He is the instigator. He is the beginning of all ends. The birth father of death and void. Be wary of him. I know not what is fear. And yet, before him, I tremble. I guess we didn't ask that before. It doesn't seem... Yeah, maybe we didn't talk to her. Maybe we didn't know to talk about that, that specific demon, thing. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> there was like, uh, first time when we got the first room, there was the woman. You remember, like a druidic woman or triad or almost something like that. And the next time there was indeed the demon type mm. of character. Yeah, it it resonates vaguely, again. Vaguely, yes. Our 
we have two long pauses for me. Mm, sometimes. It's stuff, not so like it's fast. always, but yeah, sometimes. Yeah, but week is already a bit pretty big for mm. me to forget stuff. Mm. So when it's like, it has been a month now, maybe. Yeah, but I guess Again. that's the problem. So. Is I guess that uh, I just have more practice into playing once a week or something like for the streams and everything. So. Well, but but you have um, better memory in any way. Better memory at these th these things than I do already. Mm. So. I guess so. Well, I have found a great chamber with two bedrooms. Do so you know who it belonged to? Can the answer be anything but you? The threads say that you slept there, you both did, until the vigil of day and vigil of night called you away. Hmm. Duty. Never did you waver from your duty, never? I cannot be certain. Perhaps, just once, you failed. Hmm. I discovered a great hall beyond one of my portals. That's at least something we ask and that other thing, so... Let's see if we talk to her again after we have visited this new place we got. I just... I would have loved to also get some of the other places, like the air and ice would all be interesting, but oh well. To the Hall yeah. of Flames. Good gods, what an infernal heat. Feels like I've landed inside the heart of the sun. Heart of the sun? Hey, there's Taremos. Apparently. Hi. The Guardians mustn't listen to him. These two. His every word is poison, such as no serpent has ever known. They glow with a brilliant flame, your grace. Even he cannot snuff it out. Oh, but he sides with that which has no name. I know he does. He is betrayal incarnate. He tricked them once. And will try to do so again. I fear their will is weak. Too weak still. Well, there she went again. That's the same triad woman that we met first. And uh, yeah, I guess our failure is probably at the time when we got tricked. And thus we are in the situation we are in right now. So, hello, Daremos. You! What radiance burns from your being? Enough to scorch even the likes of me, I find. And that is no small feat. Most impressive, yes, most impressive indeed. But I don't actually remember if this... I don't think this was the guy that we met second time, the Daremos. This is different. Yeah, this sounds different. But uh, the Druid woman was nonetheless the Druid woman. So, who are you? Yep. What are you doing here? Why, I am a soldier of fire, and does this landscape not befit me? I have lived here for eons, since the first great peace, when the world as your kind know it, was first secured. We were invited here by a great leader, I believe. Yes, a leader, I'm sure it was. The details, they crumble like ash when I try to grasp them in truth. But the radiance of that time has never left me. Victory, blazing victory, adorned our heads like a crown of glorious flames. I'm sure one as radiant as yourself must understand exactly what I mean. Uh, what do you know about fire magic? What do I know? Ha! Fire magic is me, and I am it. A far better question is what would you like to know? I can buy stuff. I guess he would yeah. be selling a lot of fire things. Okay. Also, apparently, the, the, the man at arms, master tire man at arms uh, things too, skill books. So okay. then we could even get master tire. Now there's more sense in going and actually leveling it up even more, these things. Yep. Yeah. Let's see, do you actually have a. Yeah, there's an immolation skill book, at least, which is master tire. Instantly set a target on fire, deals 89 to 109 fire damage. Requires level 12. We aren't quite there yet. <laughs> Not uh, really. And then Infectious Flame skill book. Requires level 15, apparently. Yay. I see an ancient diary again, by the way. Okay, we have what to be looking this? into that. 
But then he has uh, many meteor uh, meteor strikes skill book too, but many pyrokinetic things. So yeah, next Take thing that care, we'll my friend. Those who blaze brightly may find themselves targeted by darkness. But yeah. Next, we'll definitely take one for you. And uh, as such, it's not like we are actually in that big of a hurry, considering it's not like we can even use this remotely as of yet, so... Yeah. <laughs> like, the level 12 at least isn't that far, but something like level 15... Um, yeah, will take a while. But yeah, Ancient Diary. Let's look. My fellow general, when you read this, I will have departed. It had to be. Sovereignty. 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 Like, I'm trying to think. How was that exactly said? Sovereignty? Yeah. I think it is yeah. just... Yeah. It's fast becoming a curse. It was always her speciality, not mine. So, all of it is yours. The glory and the power. For myself, I seek only the inner peace. I cannot possibly find in cities or in palaces. I know you'll understand. The all the world, I'll be unreachable, but you know the secret ways and your letters will find me still should you wish them to. So goodbye. Goodbye and good luck. So clearly I left you. <laughs> uh, and you were more into leading, even though I have the leadership skill. <laughs> but I guess I just didn't like that that much nonetheless. And of course, maybe it's just leadership in battle rather than leadership in the sense of uh, uh, being in Heard palaces. Any good tales, my friend? Stop. <laughs> well, <laughs> did she have any good tales for you, friend? No. <laughs> uh. Well, lock updated. General's tale. So, there is like a. Uh, another stone, another room. We met a fire element who can aid us with our fire skills. I thought that it might be about it, but... And then we apparently got even an uh, update about it, the missing threats exactly. Two great generals defeated the Void Dragon and we heralded, were uh, heralded as the rulers of all. Hmm. I'm like trying to look... Is there exactly... Is it just one great general stale here, or was there another one with general stuff? Not sure. Uh, a general story. Yeah, general is stale and general story. Yeah, there it is. So, mine should be the general stale. I guess I should just read the general stale first and see yep. if that mm, seems logical. And then maybe you can even read the general story then, if it's supposed to be your story specifically. So, we found a letter belonging to a general who fought in a great war. This officer is of the opinion that though the war is virtually won, he simply can't get enough of bloody carnage. The letter seems to be addressed to a fellow officer for whom he sh shall meet at the funeral. The general continues to emphasize his lust for combat and dec decries the calls for diplomacy at the end of the war. He writes that all who weren't there at the end are blind. But what end is that precisely? And the general learned about the apparent departure of his colleague and seems to, de to le delight in the fact that he alone will now rule the realm. That's not what it said, though. <laughs> yeah. It clearly said that she, that he's gonna leave, right? <laughs> what the hell? But it's saying the general learned about the apparent departure of his colleague and seems to be delight in the fact that he alone will now rule the realm. He cares only for power and to be the greatest king there ever was, assuming control over the realm intended to be ruled by an unnamed woman. Assuming control over the realm intended to be ruled by an unnamed woman. But he cares only for power and to be greatest king there wa ever was, assuming control... But how does that make sense? <laughs> He's not going to be the king if he just wants to leave it for the woman. I don't understand this uh, thing exactly. Well, maybe uh, the one who wrote that is not the one who is taught about in this general's tale. Maybe. So, I guess... 
but he alone. That's the thing. It's written very strangely. The general learned about the apparent departure of his colleague and seemed to delight in the fact that he alone will now rule the realm, mm -hmm. even though yeah, it's supposed I... to be an unnamed woman. So it just doesn't make sense. That's written so freaking poorly in the here. Like, it made perfect sense before, but this doesn't make sense. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't know what is meant by that. Yep, neither do really? I. Ah, then, on the other hand, the general story, do you want to read it? Um, sure. Start from the day three, of course, so we are yeah. in order. Another letter describes a second general's mixed feelings after a great victory. Everywhere this commander goes, she is greeted with the utmost esteem, but she herself feels undeserving of this praise somehow, and she longs for some peace and quiet. This general is fed up with the responsibilities that have been given to her as a ruler. Her state of mind indicates a great mental burden and she longs to find peace from civilization altogether. So, in, on the other hand, if we read that, I... But, unnamed woman! <laughs> uh, unless I was a woman in my day. Who the hell knows? Maybe. Because on the other hand... But but is there is she, so this is clearly a woman. Yeah. It's just so freaking strange. But then I leave it but all up to you anyways. <laughs> if I would be understanding that correctly. Or I was happy that you also left and then I left. Or maybe we left it to some unnamed woman as in neither of us. That could be it. Yeah. That after you also had left, then I also left. Or something like that. But I don't know. I don't know. That's just so confusing. Confusing that is. You guys, can you make it less confusing? Probably not. How might I serve our mission? Threads I weave and tales I see. Okay. A All portal revealed a plane of fire where an elemental resides. I know of him. The tapestry tells me all it can. And I know he knows you. This aspect of fire served you. In fact, he serves you still. He stood by your side on battlefields large as cities. Together, you overcame foes beyond comprehension. I seen a void track on. Okay. Good to see you on the shelter plane. A home away from home, is it not? Uh, I don't know if there's something to discuss about the revolving threads of the tapestry of time, but I guess I can ask. It shall be my pleasure. We witnessed the story of two general slayers of the Void Dragon. Oddly familiar, wasn't it? Familiar indeed. Exactly who these heroes might have been, or why Starstone is reviving their tale, I cannot say. But the resemblance of circumstances is quite striking, to say the least. Oh, do collect more stones, won't you? I'm all a jitter with excitement. Who could they have been? What does it mean? And why, dear Source Hunter, can you alone restore these threads to our memories? Because it's us. <sighs> mm. Yep. Rooms. Yes, certainly. Room filled with fire and brimstone. That must be the Hall of Flames, mustn't it? You control the elements, Source Hunter, and fire is the most inherently destructive of them all. You can learn much there that will make even the Void sweat. And then, of course, I've come across a Master Bedroom of Source. I think from this guy we might have asked that, but we'll see. So you have the Inner Chamber. The tapestry has shown me that these were the personal quarters of the gods chosen too. They lived lives of opulent luxury. A well-deserved return for services rendered against the onslaught of demons and dark champions of the void. They are yours now. The chosen two anew. Other stuff we know. Uh, I'd like to update you on my progress. I have defeated the Baracus Rex, an ancient king raised from the grave by members of the sect that used 
uses star stone for insidious purposes. Those scallywags! scallywags. They are diluting star stone with blood magic? Vile fiends! This sect, it must be stopped! Their adulteration of star stone could hamper our efforts to undo the void! The you void. have to trace this sect back <laughs> to the very pit where it burrows! Bloodstone! The horror! The horror! Magic as dark as this, it feeds the void where we seek to starve it! Yeah, that's how it goes. Like the imp said to the ballista operator, shoot! Mm. I think this is nothing new, so I guess that's okay. Alrighty. I think that's about a okay. The next time if we end here, we can go to the new area. Even though yeah. I'm still annoyed that we can't open that one chest. Plus, the fact. <sighs> Don't talk now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> but um, then we can go into the new area. But yeah, I'm annoyed that we didn't figure out how... Maybe we can by ourselves try to look still if we can find some sort of way to get into that one area next to the cathedral. Because it's really annoying. Maybe. But yeah. Uh, otherwise, I think this is a good place to stop. Yeah. There's probably five or four fillings on that tapestry we have to get. Maybe. Yep. Definitely. Like, it was about that size, so I think maybe five. So we have a lot to do still. Lots to do. And of course, like, level 20 might be the maximum, so we are at maximum, like, halfway the game, I think, at the moment. When we are yeah. level 10 now, exactly. So that would be my guess anyways. But okay, I think we'll be ending here, so thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed some more Divinity Original Sin. And uh, we shall see you with more next time around. So bye-bye from me and from Sare. Bye. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye. To be continued with Divinity Original Sin.